Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to the back part of my wild backyard on this beautiful sunny morning. A few clouds rolling through and it's starting to get warm so I gotta get busy. Today we're gonna be picking red clover and let me turn the camera down so you can see. This is one of my smaller patches, and I got a bigger patch up there. Now, what you're going to want to do is just snip it. You want a little bit of green with the with the uh, clover head. I don't know why they call this red clover because it's perfectly purple. Look at that. But this is what you're looking for good healthy greens full purple head no brown on it and no powdery mildew and that's what you're going to pick and let me show you how we do it or how i do it just go through snip snip Snip. I use my thumb and my forefinger. This one is not completely open, but it's still going to work. So, reason why I want to harvest red clover. Extremely wonderful women's medicinal for especially those going through menopause. You can make a tea out of it. You can dry it and make a tea, or you can... Uh, Use it fresh. Sorry, bird. <laughs> Brown thrashers. Yes. Okay, sorry. Bird moment. Uh, you can make a fresh tea out of it using some of the green and the purple heads, or you can make a tincture, which I'm going to be showing you how I dry some, and then I'm going to make a second video uh, making tincture with it. Extremely important female uh medicinal also uh not only menopause but for uh heart protection for women and many other medicinal benefits of this amazing plant and i'll have all most of the medicinal benefits i leave some room for y'all to do study as well because y'all need to study and make sure it's the right medicinal for you don't just take anything and uh, so I'll have all that information in the description below. I got a lot of harvesting to do, and I'll bring y'all back once we, once I get finished and show you how much I got. Hi, right, hiding in the shade for a little bit. I got a whole bunch of red clover picked. See how big that container is? <clears throat> now. To go weigh it and then cool off for a while. See y'all back at the weighing. Okay, time to weigh the red clover. Zero out the container. I don't think I'm going to have enough container. I have to mush them. Not too bad for the first harvest because I had to stop. I got too hot. One pound, 3.5 ounces. There we go. 
Now to get to the shed and get busy. Alrighty, welcome to the shed of many names where we're going to get busy with the red clover that I harvested. See how beautiful that is? I can't help it. It's one of my biggest beefs with people. Look at that. focus and does that look red to you no that's purple here's an even better this is more lavender than purple but i digress all right let's get busy don't want to hear me fussing we're going to make a tincture with this now i have washed them and let them dry and wilt down some because making a tincture you want to let the plant material wilt a little bit to get some of the moisture out but you don't want to let it wilt too much because then it then it won't be any good now before we get started always make sure that your work area is clean and sanitized all of what you're using your jars your lid your band your funnel if you use a funnel make sure that's clean and sanitized and also we will be using 100 proof vodka there's a reason why i use 100 proof vodka 80 proof no because this is still green and it will get the the water content will i water down the alcohol so much that you will lose shelf life of your alcohol and your tincture and why take a chance of your tincture going bad and the money you've spent on the alcohol and the time and, and the processing time of gathering your plant material there's no need in taking that chance now I noticed there's a trend of people using wanting to use Everclear and everything. Yeah. I have done a lot of studying on that. At one time, a long time ago, I used Everclear. And then I found out, not personally, but through research and everything, anything stronger than 100 proof becomes part of pharmaceutical grade. And can do more damage to your organs and your inside and your gut than, than benefits. Uh, it becomes more um, destructive. And, well, why take something that's going to harm you than heal you? So, that's why I use 100 proof vodka on most of all my tinctures. There are a few very few exceptions of where i get to use 80 proof and there's only one other exception where i get to use brandy other than that no 100 proof vodka y'all now let's talk about this amazing beautiful beautiful blessing of a plant if you're a woman going through menopause, having hot and cold flashes, this is the medicine for you. Now, if you can't have tincture, dry it. You, if you if you got the supply growing in your yard like I do, you can have fresh tea, fresh plant material tea, or you can dry it for future use and um, use it as a that form as a tea too. Hot and cold flash stopper. Now, be careful if you have um, cancer that is estrogen based. Uh, this has slight estrogen in it, so you want to be careful with that. So you don't want to jeopardize anything. Now, for men, you're safe. It's not going to hurt you. It's good for fevers also. Um, it helps build back your bones, especially if you have. It will help 
slow down if you already have it or help keep you from having osteoporosis. It helps build calcium back in your bones. It also um, is an antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal, many, many uses. And I'll have more information in the description box below my videos as always. Unless I fall asleep while loading the video, but I do get it put in after I wake up the next morning because, yeah, I fell asleep. But I digress on that one. So, instead of me rambling on, let's get to making a red clover tincture. It's not hard to do, y'all. We're going to take our jar and our funnel. Now, you want to make sure that your plant material has wilted a little bit. You can see that it has wilted quite a bit. Now, I'm not going to use all of this. I just want to make sure I have enough. What I don't use is going back into the uh, bowl over here because what's left of the other one is going for uh, to dehydrate into tea. So, now, when picking your clover, I either thumb snip, snip it right below if you want just a little bit of stem. Let's see, where can I find a good one? Here you go. I come along, grab and pull, or sometimes I use my thumb and finger like that and pull. Either or, you want just a little bit of stem, not a whole lot. So, less talking, more working. Now let me tell you, I got hot today. I hope the fan... I hope y'all can't hear the fan in the background. Because let me tell you, we've been nice and cool. And I don't know who left the oven door open somewhere. But yeah, today was just way too hot too fast. I've been enjoying the cooler weather. So have all the plants. Now, I am making a half a gallon jar as always. You can... Make it into a quart jar. And if you're by yourself, you can use a pint jar. Just be careful about how much flowers you use. Now, this is very loose packed. That's why I'm going about three quarters of the jar. If I was to push that down some, You can see how much room it takes up. That is half a jar full. That is exactly how much you want. And this is not going to waste. This is going to be dehydrated. This has a future for making tea. I'll set them right here in the bowl. Right there. All right, as you can see, pack down just a little bit. That's a half of the jar. Oh no, I forgot. Oh no. There we go. Well, there's a wheel, there's a way. And no, I never add any water at all to my tinctures. There's already water in the vodka. Half water. It's 50% water, 50% alcohol. And just like that, you 
you want to make sure you get everything out because I'm telling you, they're making 100 proof vodka precious. They're making it harder to get a hold of because they don't want you making medicine. They don't want you being able to preserve anything because I can remember how easy it used to be. You could walk in anywhere and get 100 proof vodka. Now, you want to tighten your lid down. I'm going to agitate this first. But you want to make sure that you get all of the air bubbles out. Look at that beautiful, beautiful jar of red clover. Still agitate agitates me to call it red clover. Okay. Sharpie marker. Red clover. Tincture. Five, seven, twenty-three. Okay, with that being done, you're going to want to store it in a cool, dark place. Agitate it gently. Don't shake it. There's no need to shake it. Agitate it. Now, don't worry. If your leaves start looking really pale, the alcohol is pulling out the medicinal benefits. Your flowers are going to get ugly looking. It's going to become transparent. There's a good chance, and I'm hoping it doesn't, that the tincture is going to become a slight pinkish color. It may, it may not. It depends on how strong the color is in your red clover but that's not what you're going for you're going for the medicinal benefits of this amazing plant now when if you don't have it growing in your yard <clears throat> and you have to go somewhere else to harvest it make sure they have not sprayed any pesticides because that defeats the purpose you want this all, and my backyard is organic. I don't spray nothing because I can care less about grass. Uh, I, I don't want my grass looking good. Grass is only good for pastures, if you ask me. Make sure there's been no chemicals, uh, nowhere animals have been urinating or defecating, nowhere humans might, you know, you know, there's some people who just like to go outside and take a pee. Make sure they haven't been doing that around the plants. And harvest responsibly. Uh, I pick about three quarters. I leave one quarter of the buds. Not only for the pollinators, but also for seeds. So that they'll keep <coughs> reseeding their cell. And later on, I already have one. Later on, I, I will do another video of showing how it's not time yet to harvest uh, red clover seeds. Um, I'll link the video at the end of this video showing you how to harvest the seeds. Now, when harvesting your clover, now, the leaves are going to look a whole lot better. They have, this one has, they have wilted. You see how there's no brown at all. If there's any brown on it, that means the flower is spent. Leave it alone. The medicinal benefits of the red clover is gone. Yes, the leaves, sorry about the fan. See how nice and green the leaves are. If you see leaves that have this like powdery white looking look to them, 
Leave that alone. Leave them alone. It's powdery mildew. Now, if it's in your yard, just cut down that patch of clover and let it regenerate. It'll regenerate, grow again, and it give you more uh, red clover blooms. I have to do that every year later on uh, because the rain, the heat, the rain, the heat, and dews, high humidity, eventually powder mildew will come into play and I just mow them down and they'll grow right back. Now, let this tincture set for eight weeks. Nothing less. If you have to go over nine weeks, 10, 11, 12, it's in 100 proof vodka. It's not going to go bad at all. But it has to set for at least eight weeks for the vodka to pull out all the medicinal benefits of it. Now, another thing. There's a chance the flowers might be a tad bit dry. Keep an eye on your vodka level. It's still to the top. You want to keep your vodka level to the rim. Just right at the rim. If you have to add more, don't worry about it. That's fine. Nothing's wrong or going to happen with the tincture. And you don't have to restart the timing. Just add it. That way you don't get um, oxidation, which on the top, that little trapped bit of oxygen can turn the top of, uh, can actually at times ruin your tincture or turn your plant material brown so definitely take precautions make sure that your alcohol your vodka level stays to the rim i hope this video encourages you to make your own red clover tincture the medicinal benefits are amazing especially for women it works for men too just make sure if you, if you are a man and you have breast cancer. Men do get breast cancer. Just be careful about using this because there's estrogen in the red clover. It's not going to hurt anybody. It's just some precautions to take. Simple, easy. Believe in yourself. Have the plant material. Have the vodka. I know it's hard to get vodka. Stay vigilant. You can find it out there. Now, if you're gluten intolerant, actually gluten intolerant, make sure you get potato vodka. That way you won't have a gluten issue. Yes, there are actually people that do have gluten intolerances. And then there's those, well, let's just say they like to ride a bandwagon. All right. Continue to make your medicine that will heal you. Stock your medicine cabinets. Continue to stock your pantries that, with food that will sustain you. Not crap. Actual food. Things like our ancestors. What did they eat? Stock your protection. Stock essentials that you will need like soap, dish soap, laundry detergent, and so on. The bare necessities. Keep them stocked if possible. Stay positive. We got this. We're in this together, everyone. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Y'all take care. And may you each be blessed. Hoot, hoot.